What's going on guys, I'm Marty back at the end with the Weekly Rust Skins video. This is going to be a quick one again this week. This is actually a continuation, um, continue the sets week for the Rust Item Store. So that's what this um, store is themed on. And it is literally just um, a continuation of a bunch of different sets. Molten Visage, uh, Poseidon, No Mercy, Rainbow Pony, Phantom, which we haven't had since like 2019. Um, the Doodle Thompson Corrupted. Armor, Supply Container, and also Azul, which is not on the top sellers page. So, let's get started with the Molten Visage Garage Door. It's going for $4.60, which is um, definitely above center store price. It is a glowing deployable though, and the Molten Visage has been a very popular set. We've only had three skins for it so far, not including this one. And the cheapest one is $5.93, the most expensive is $20.83. Um, so the Molten Visage actually is quite a successful set and I do see this Molten Visage garage door going up and making you some easy money um, but I also do think that you could most likely get it for a little bit cheaper off of the community market with a buy order and that is going to be a very similar theme to everything that I say throughout this video um, so I'm just going to say it now pretty much everything for this week is uh, the end of the set or at least it is most likely not going to continue. Maybe the Molten Visage and the Rainbow Pony. Um, the Doodle Thompson, like the Doodle set will probably be done by now. Crop of the set's most likely done. Phantom set would be done. Poseidon is getting some skins every now and then, um, but it's pretty much done as well. No Mercy is also pretty much done. And the Azul, I would consider uh, definitely done even with this Azul Road Sun Gloves. So, just keep that in mind as well. Like all of these prices are way above center store price for some reason. Um, I think Face Punch is just trying to milk it a little bit, but um, I do think you're going to be able to get majority of these skins uh, this week off of the community market for a little bit cheaper. So I'm not really going to recommend investing in anything for this week if possible, um, because I do think that there's going to be better weeks in the future. And I also do think that most of these skins are going to go down in price over the uh, first few days of them being released to the community market and I do think you'll be able to get them for cheaper with a buy order if you want to invest in them. Um, so I'm just going to quickly say that now. Moving over to the Poseidon LMG, we don't actually have that many M249 skins in the game. Some are quite cheap, um, sitting around about like $2 or something like that. Some are quite expensive, sitting around like the $20 mark. The Poseidon LMG is currently second on the top sellers as you can see right now. And that doesn't really help with the M249 skins just because the M249 is a harder skin uh, gun to get in the game. And so it does make it more niche and it does make it have less demand. So just keep that in mind as well. I think the Poseidon LMG is going to get oversaturated for the M249 skins. Um, and I don't think for $4.60, I don't think you're really going to make money off of that one um, unless you're investing as a long-term investment. But overall, I wouldn't recommend investing in the Poseidon LMG off of the Ross Adams store for this week because I do definitely think you're going to be losing money um, for quite a while if you do try and invest in that one. Moving over to the No Mercy sleeping bag. The No Mercy set has been very successful. I actually do see this one performing quite well long-term, but it is $3.25 above center store price. And I do think you're going to be able to get it for cheaper on the community market. I've already had so many sick sleeping bags lately. Plus we already have like all those glowing free ones and stuff like the Banan sleeping bag from the OTB events. And so I do think that the No Mercy sleeping bag isn't going to have as high of a demand. So I'm not going to recommend investing in it off of the Rust Adam store. Um, I'm not going to recommend investing really in anything off the Rust Adam store for this week. Just because I do think that it's going to go below the current store price of this on the community market or at least you're going to be able to get it for a little bit cheaper with a buy order. Rainbow Pony Metal Door is something that I do think actually could perform quite well um, and that is just because it is a continuation of a set but we don't really have any deployable Rainbow Pony stuff so this is new. It's glowing. It's $3.25 which is above center store price but Team Metal Door skins do actually perform pretty well usually, and I do actually think the Rainbow Pony is going to be a pretty safe investment overall. I do think it's going to be medium to long-term investment, but I will recommend investing in it, um, whether you pick it up off the Rust Adam store or the community market, because I do think it actually will make you some money. Overall, very meme skin, but it is pretty cool. Moving over to the Phantom gear, we've got the Metal Gear finally out. We've been waiting, I don't even know how long, two years now. And it's $3.25 each. I'm pretty sure there was two different versions of this, and I think I like the other version better. 
Um, overall, don't love the chest plate. I do like the face mask, but I don't love the cutout, to be honest. I don't think that this is really going to go uh, anywhere, really. I think it'll probably sit around like the $3.25 uh, cent mark on the community market, but I really don't think it's going to be crazy as an investment, so I'm not going to recommend it. I'm not going to recommend investing in it. Um, instead, I would recommend just getting it with a buy order on the community market if you did want to try and buy them in bulk. I do think you'd be able to get them for a little bit cheaper. Overall, the Phantom set definitely did perform quite well. It was one of the earlier clothing sets, and as I just said, it did perform quite well, but it's just taken so long for this Metal Gear to come out that this set is pretty much done and pretty much um, dead. Like, this set doesn't really have any hype. If someone was new, they wouldn't come over and be like, oh man, I love the Phantom set because they're not really going to know about it as much as like something like the No Mercy um, hoodie and pants or the Whiteout or the Blackout, etc. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. It's not going to have a crazy high demand once it leaves the Ross Adams store. The Doodle Thompson going for $3.25 above the store price for weapons. Overall, the Doodle set, it did okay. I'm not going to say it did crazy. It was uh, a profitable investment for pretty much every Doodle thing. But overall, I do think the Doodle set is dead. I don't really think there's going to be much of a continuation. And we already have a bunch of Thompson skins on the community market now that are below $3.25. So keep that in mind when you're going to try and invest in it. Overall, I do think it'll be a okay long-term investment. But as a short-term investment, I'm honestly not feeling it. And I do think you're going to be able to get it for a little bit cheaper. And judging by that iron sight picture, it doesn't even look like it's got a red iron sight. So that's interesting. Um, overall, though, I think it'll be a, it'll be a fine medium to long term investment, but short term investment, just get it off the community market with a buy order. Moving over to the corrupted AK or AR, going for two dollars and sixty cents. This is actually probably the only skin besides the Azul Roadstone gloves that is actually just standard store price. So that's a good thing for that. Um, but honestly, I don't think that it's going to have a crazy high demand. It looks pretty much like a default AK. It looks pretty cool. Matches the corrupted set that we've already had. Um, and overall looks pretty nice. But I don't think it's a very standout AK. And I don't think for that reason it will go up very high. So overall, not going to recommend investing in the corrupted AK for this week. But overall, as a long-term investment, it will probably perform all right. Right, moving over to the armor supply container, continuation of the supply container set, $3.25, which is the standard store price for what this um, supply container set has been going for, which is the same price as the neon storage. Honestly, I wouldn't invest in it. Um, I think it looks nice and stuff like that, but you've got glowing stuff. It, it's the same price or a little bit more expensive than this. I honestly just, unless you like what it looks like, then pick it up, sure, but just as an investment, I don't think it's going to perform that well. So I'm not going to recommend investing in it. I do definitely think you're going to be able to get it for cheaper on the community market with a buy order. Even then, you could probably buy it instantly um, from the sell orders for less than $3.25. Overall, the set hasn't been very successful. And finally, we have the Azul Road Sign Gloves going for $1.30. The Azul set was not too bad. It was pretty successful. Made some easy coin and Joey bought a hundred of the kilts, I'm pretty sure if I remember back in the day. And then the set just stopped. Overall, the roadside gloves do look quite nice actually, but roadside gloves really aren't very big on demand. And it's going for $1.30, so I mean, I think it'll be a pretty safe investment. I don't think you're gonna lose money if you do try and invest in it. Um, plus it also looks like the Jackhammer Azul thing's been announced, judging by these pictures. Um, but I digress. I do think the Azul Road Sign Gloves will be a pretty safe investment, but we do already have some pretty cheap Road Sign Glove skins. And honestly, I don't think they're going to be a crazy investment. So if you're going to be trying to make like a little bit of money, if you've got a small wallet, sure, invest in the Azul Road Sign Gloves. If not, then I'd recommend just saving your money and waiting for next week and hopefully something better will come along. If you guys want to check out what these skins look like in game, head over to that German guy and make sure you give his video a like, make sure you slap the bloody subscribe button and watch it so that you can see what the skins look like. Because um, I'm not going to be doing it this week just because I'm busy. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm not going to be investing this week. I know you guys probably want to see my cart. I'm going to buy one of everything. I think everything looks nice. Plus I own all of the stuff that's um, all of these sets. So I do want to finish my sets. I like to collect skins as you guys know. 
and I do think that these look quite nice. So I'll be picking up one of everything, but I'm not going to be investing in anything this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and remember, have a skits one. The, the repair bench. Um, no, Did not you yet. make a repair bench? No, no. Yeah, I'll make one. <laughs> I'll craft a hammer. <laughs> Kill well, we've got to bloody not be too suspicious. Explain. <laughs> it's pretty suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> He's already back. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> what was that noise? Stay inside, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? What? Yeah, you like this box? Yeah, pretty you like good, this box? Looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Oh. <laughs> Flex on duck, dude. <laughs> I like how bad you placed it. What's the duck doing? Am I about to die? Whoops. No! He stole it! He stole it! I don't know. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I see what you're gonna do. It's only- I've only got one though. It's a med box that is spawning on the ground. Give it to me. No. Beautiful placement. No, you put me down. <laughs> Playing some beautiful music. That's a nice wow, gun. that's a nice gun spot. <laughs> oh my god. What? what the fuck is that? <laughs> 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 that was an accident. I swear it was an accident. I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna bounce. Oh, another mistake. <laughs>